Are you about to buy a cloud storage for your business? Today we will be talking about a service that offers extensive features as well as security at a cost lower than overrated services. It is Zoho Work Drive. We are also going to compare it head to head with Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive and Box. Hey what's up my name is Shivam and if you would like to check out these services then you can do so from the description below. I'm pretty sure that you have heard about Zoho in one way or another if you are in the corporate space. I've been a user of Zoho since the past past few years and honestly I love it. Zoho Work Drive is an online file management and content collaboration platform that lets you take all your work and team and put them under one umbrella. In the new flexible work setup, organizations use an average of 187 applications, says a report, and they find it hard to unify the business content that flows through all their apps. Work Drive helps companies to create a central repository and offers a unified solution that connects all of their apps. This way they can consolidate file storage sharing, content collaboration and workflows into a single, secure and easy to use platform. Starting with the features, first comes the office suit. Zoho Work Drive comes with a built-in office suit comprising of writer which is a word processor, sheet which is their spreadsheet and show the presentation software. This way you need not to invest in any other office apps. This will give us the functionality of creating, editing and sharing our files online without having to download them. That means you can simply edit all those files online. There is also a MS Office add-on available that lets you edit files in MS Office and when you are done you can store them in your work drive. Good thing is that this feature is supported on all the platforms. However, there is another important aspect which is previewing your files online. Each platform offers various number of formats as you can see on the screen. Surprisingly Google supports the least number of formats whereas OneDrive and Zoho Work Drive supports the most format. Next feature is Work Drive Snap the asynchronous communication tool. This feature enables us to record screen, add video, audio commentary and share our message with our team directly from the app. Like if you want to create a pitch, update or announcement. This feature is available on Zoho Work Drive, Dropbox and Box but not on the OneDrive and Google Drive. File version history is another important aspect of a cloud storage service. This feature enables us to access previous versions of a file. Like if you are working on a file and then you modify it, your cloud storage will keep the previous version for a certain number of days or versions before it deletes it. As you can see on the screen that Google offer 100 versions for 30 days which is the least when compared to its competitors. Box 2 keeps 25 to 100 version depending on the plan. On the other hand Zoho Work Drive offers the most by providing us the unlimited version which means you will never lose a file. Rest lies in between. Next let's talk about integrations. When you buy a cloud storage it should work with your favorite apps like Microsoft Office, CapCut, Adobe etc. In that domain they provide these number of integrations where I found 1500 for Box, 1000 plus apps for Zoho Work Drive via Zoho Flow and Zapier whereas 220 for Dropbox and mere 30 apps for OneDrive that I manually counted on their website. Also I wasn't able to find for the Google. With that all the platforms offer API support so sky is the limit. You can connect these to anything. Rest there are some standard features that you will find on all the platforms like granule permissions, single sign-on, device management, custom branding and much more. Well there would be even more features offered by these services but that is not possible to cover so let's move on to the security and compliances. Though I didn't get the opportunity to find the leakage in their security as these are big tech companies and they have airtight securities. So if you go with either one of these you won't find your yourself feeling insecure. Compliances wise they offer all the major ones that a company would need like GDPR, HIPAA. Box was the only one to offer HIPAA for the enterprise plan only. Whoa. That was a lot. If you are liking it so far, make sure to leave a like on this video. The only thing left to talk about in this video is pricing. The amount of attention you pay to the features, believe me, you need more attention here for the pricing. Because we are not buying it for personal use, we are talking about tens, hundreds, if not thousands of accounts. So even a fraction of price will have a huge impact in the long run. Starting with Zoho, the plans are priced at 2.5, 4.5 and $9 per month per user billed annually, which gives us one 3 and 5 terabytes of shared team storage respectively for up to 10 users. After 10 users you get the additional shared storage for 100 GB, 300 GB and 500 GB per new user based on the plan you choose. Most of the features are included even in the starter plan which is good thing, rest you can see all the pricing details from the description below. 
Next, we have Dropbox and the plans are priced at $18, $20 and $26 per month per user. That gives us 3, 9 and 15 TB respectively for the whole team. Box goes for $20, $30 and $35 for surprisingly unlimited storage. There is a catch. They play it by limiting the bandwidth to 1 TB per month per user. That includes both upload and download. So essentially a user can upload 500 GB of data and then download that 500 GB of data. Talking about OneDrive sitting at 5, 6 and 12.5 dollars per month per user for 1 TB of cloud storage per user in all the plans. Lastly for Google it's 6, 12 and 18 dollars per month per user for 30 GB, 2 terabytes and 5 terabytes of total team cloud storage. There you have the pricing of all the cloud storage services. Considering all the pricing I would say that Box and Dropbox being the most expensive option whereas Zoho being the inexpensive option. I can't stress it enough how important it is to consider the pricing and the features you are getting for the price. If you ask me, I felt Zoho to be providing a lot of features at a very low price. Second place I would give to OneDrive and third place to Dropbox. Now if you would like to check any of these services, then you can do so from the description below. That's it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Now if you are looking for the custom business email, then this video will definitely help. And if you are looking for a way to control your computers remotely, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe, bye bye.